Today I have two hair dyes from two different brands. This one is called My Identity, or My Identity. Okay, and it's supposed to be color just purple. Then it says Raven. So, I'm going to test this out. And then we also have, of course, the tried and true Arctic Fox purple. But this comes out to be more of a magenta color. And I'm not a fan of pink at all. So, I'm thinking about mixing the colors, but I'm not quite sure yet. And to do so, I have my handy dandy, empty, reusable, manic panic jar. Yes, from my old days. And once in a while throughout the years I've gotten some too. So it's not that old of a container. But I do have a few. I use them for lots of different things. Anyway, so this is what I mix in. I don't like using anything that I have to squeeze out of a jar to get on my head because I can't get it all out of the jar. So I do it into my tub and then I can get all of it. All right, so that's the next part. Let's see what color this really is. It's one of those lids. Just got to push it in there to open it. I'm going to put a little bit on my lid. Now my lid, of course, is a black color and so are my gloves, so that doesn't help. And I'm going to have to try again. Give me a sec. Okay, I have this handy dandy little conditioner bottle in a bag. So it's white, so I can take a little of the dye off the lid and put it on the bag. I only can see the color. Alright, so it's a darker purple. This might work really great with that, man with that fuchsia like purple. I'm wondering if I can mix the two brands. I know that's risky and I could lose all of my hair from it. I am an explorer and experimenter, but I don't know if I will do my whole head that way. What I'm thinking is since the Arctic Fox is lighter, I like the lighter tones on the top of my head and the darker tones on the bottom. Why? Because with lighter tones, it even if it washes over the darker tones, it won't take over them. But if it's the other way around, it will take over the lighter tones if it's darker on the top. So. Here we go. I'm going to, oh, I have to stop trying to touch my screen apparently. I'm getting dye on it. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna start doing the lighter color. So I'm gonna close this one first so it doesn't dry out while I'm doing it. I'm gonna take this one, shake it up, not like you have to. <laughs> and actually, I don't like squeezing it. I'm just gonna pour it right out of the bottle. And I don't know how much of this I'm gonna need. Oh yeah, that's right, it's closed off like that. These things can be tricky to get off because they're really tiny. Sometimes I have to use my teeth. Let's see if I can do it with my nails through the gloves. That's tricky too, but I got it. All right. All right, let's wipe that on the edge there. At least not on that. All the little bits. Okay, I'll get to that lid later. Let's put like a good glob in there. Oh, I don't know, half. Not even. Let's do a little more. Because if this is going to be the top of my head, it's going to need more. Alright, there we go. That's probably about half the jar. Okay, and half the bottle, maybe. Close this up for now. And we shall start dyeing the hair. Alright. Science experiments. I feel like sometimes I do them often. Do I care where I start? No. Why? Because it all gets done eventually. <laughs> it's handy having the phone on actually for this video because then I can actually use it too for my mirror, but I don't want to do it too much. I actually need to look at my mirror too, it's a lot closer. 
Kind of like, you know, rear view mirrors of the car. <laughs> Objects are closer. In this case, because we are closer, of course. Oh, that case too, I guess. I'll just stop talking. <laughs> Alright, now to start for real. <laughs> oh, I gotta take all these hair clips up. I find them all in. Now, instead, what I'm gonna do, uh, I don't have. Oh, I do. It's right there. Perfect. I have a bigger hair clip right here on my thing. Perfect. So I can take all this hair that I'm not working with yet. On this side, to keep it away from the Vaseline. I twist a lot because it works well. little buns. <laughs> yes, like Princess Leia. <laughs> uh-huh. All my life. Okay, anyway. I do this mostly by feel in the back. Where I can feel it gets colder because the dye is colder than my head. It's a thick dye too, so you want to get in all the cracks. Make sure it gets through all the hair back there. I just rub it in. I don't really care if it touches my scalp. It's in within my hair. Okay. I find sometimes that's the best way to get the color in there. Or the bleach, too, actually. Kind of like you're scrubbing it in your hair. <laughs> like shampoo. Not quite. <laughs> okay, so that might actually be done on this side now. I'm going to have to do something about that later, I don't know what yet. Maybe I'll get another. Well, I have mixed colors before, so maybe I'll get another too. Hmm. Maybe not on one side, but the other side. That's an interesting idea, isn't it? Oh, I see I missed the back here. Of course, because that's like the next layer. I dyed Zach's hair the other day. She wanted to go brown. I guess that was a week or so ago. Feels like the other day. Time sometimes goes slower than we think. I gotta take that out. That's just a hindrance now. I'm gonna have to get the rest of this side. Did I brush my hair first? No, I forgot to. <laughs> Is there knots in my hair? Yes. Does it matter? No, not really, because I can finger brush my hair while I do this. And it actually works for getting the hair dyed as well, to spread. So I'm okay with doing the finger brushing while I dye my hair.
I do have a handy dandy little broken brush head I keep though to help me brush it through my hair once I get my finger brushing started. I really should have brushed my hair first. It would have been a lot easier. But that's okay. It makes it more of a challenge. Sometimes we like challenges. It helps us discover things, learn things, be able to teach things sometimes. I don't know if that's what this is. I'm just showing people how I do my hair. Because I know some people have asked me how often I do it or how I do it or if I do it myself or okay so now that this side is basically started I can clip this side oh I'm missing a little bit at the top there I'm okay with the streak one streak in there sure I don't know let's get creative here This is I try to get it to clip by where it's moving. Okay, now for this side. I gotta do, get this started so it doesn't stick to my face. Normally, I actually, I think sometimes, a lot of times maybe, I tend to, oh, I just got rid of that streak. I tend to do all of the top of my head first and then start the sides. Yeah, people use brushes for the hair. Professionals use the brushes, but I don't like the brushes that much. I find my fingers do a better job, or just as good of a job, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I had to actually pull that one. Okay. Now for the back. Again, by feel. Oh, seems like a lot up there. That's okay. I'll come over here. As you can see it, I'll be able to watch later. Woohoo! I don't ever get to see this part. So, I guess it's nice that I'm anyway. Everyday life of people. You never know what's going on. Unless they show ya. I don't know if you can hear me through all this. I'm actually kind of mumbling and talking the other way. Uh-huh. Alright, now. To get in underneath. The next layer. And then the next layer. And then this part. <laughs> Can't forget front. Alright, I think I almost got it all. Got some streaks in there too, maybe. Let's get that up in there. A little more. Hmm. That's a little different than usual. But that's okay. Usually... Actually, I guess every one of them is an experiment for me, unless I'm just going straight up one color. But, as today proves, even one color can be two shades. <laughs> Alright. What if I just left the bottom blonde? Hmm. Would it be a neat effect to see it wash out? Would it be bloody looking kind of like it is now? With the blonde and the purple going on, kind of looks like streaks of blood right there. 
I just want this section. <laughs> Oh, question is, how much of this purple do I want to put in my hair? And did I get the back enough on this side? I'm going to find out. I don't think so, because it's going to feel very cold back there. So I'm going to do it some more for the case. Because I don't recall actually doing this side like I did the last one. So now I am. Just to make sure it's all in there. Spread the hairs out to get them on them all, right? Don't call me crazy. I don't care. I just do my own thing. Chunks of blonde here and there. Do I want that? I don't know. It just looks like it wasn't dyed properly. Let's mix it in there. Let's touch that area up a little more, huh? We got more dye here. That would work. See? Now all that one's gone. Gone. Now load over here. Did I get some? I don't even know. Let's see. Yep, I still got some in the cup there. Not a lot. Scrapings, but still working. Okay, that works. That's covered. I think I feel the same way on this side. I'm gonna work on that some more. Also, I'll check back with that later. Okay, let's go back to here. Yeah, I can see through my hair somewhat. So I, I look. Okay, that's good. Okay, so it's just this part here. And this is like pretty much the last of the scrapings. Okay, where'd that part go? Right there. Alright. So there's